letting people know. Like now I can explain decisions I made with a, a clear head, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, I, I really didn't know shit. I was just trying shit out, so I shouldn't have been so vocal about it. Iman Shepard has to make a one-time seven-figure payment to Tiana. What? That's crazy. What is that about, roundabout? What'd you think? A million dollars or more. This would be like my well, healing like chapter. I was really um, excited about that. A lot of um, wounds like, are being closed. Although it's not exactly a strange occurrence for celebrity couple marriages to fail, what Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor had going was something several people were rooting for, even right up until news broke of their separation. However, things between them have significantly depleted since the last time they were in the headlines, and it seems Iman may not be handling the new details too well. Not only are they at the furthest possible point, of settling the legal battles that have ensued between them over the past several months, but it seems the pair have finally reached a major milestone in the fight. According to recent reports, Shumpert won't stop at being obligated to pay her some big bucks, but many of the requests he tried to push concerning their marriage might not pull through. Apart from the battles they've been fighting to split their property ownership, as well as who's paying who, it has also been reported that the couple would have to jump through some major hoops in determining who gets custody of their kids or what kind of arrangement custody arrangement will be reached. It's almost unreal to the fans that this is where things currently stand with this pair. Being two attractive celebrities aside, Shumpert and Taylor actually had a great start to their relationship. Sadly, it turns out almost all the elements have been against them working things out. Make no mistake, this wasn't a one or two year romance story. This pair had been together for close to a decade. And in that time, they seemed to be the embodiment of fame and fortune merging into one beautiful family, something we've barely seen last that long in the industry. However, according to the new details that have come out since word of their divorce made it to the tabloids back in 2023, it seems the bulk of their relationship failure might have been a result of Shumpert being far from an ideal partner. Reports detail the former athlete allegedly cheating on Taylor on several instances during their marriage, and when those reports weren't talking about cheating allegations. Other people with insider information were speaking about how it may have been as bad as him putting his hands on his then wife. Although Taylor herself tried to get in front of the stories back in the day, defending the man from those cheating accusations the news had been talking about. In fact, in her statement announcing their separation last year, she specifically stated that infidelity wasn't part of the reasons. But seeing as now that they are officially apart, more details are coming out about his cheating ways. It seems it might not have been one of the reasons for the failure of their marriage, but the only reason. While some separated couples like Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green had an easy time agreeing to the terms of their divorce and the details of custody for their kids, Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor have had one of the messiest divorces in recent times. Days back, more details about the split have made it to the news, and it's not pretty. According to the Jasmine brand, a Fulton County judge in Georgia officially ordered for Iman to pay the 8,001 star a one-time payment within the seven figures range. He's also ordered to continue paying $8,000 a month in child support and pay 100% private school fees for both his daughters, uh, Junie and Rue. Additionally, he'll get to keep all his Shumpert Shump investments, though no exact monetary amount was disclosed his condo in Miami, and two homes in South Georgia in Decatur, respectively. You know, I'm nosy, so listen. Iman Shepard has to make a one-time seven-figure payment to Tiana. What? That's crazy. What is that about, roundabout? What'd you think? A million dollars or more. He has to pay 8,000 per month in child support and cover 100% of the kids' private school fees. As for Tiana, she'll get to keep 100% ownership of her company's TaylorMade and Auntie's, as well as all her jewelry, Maybach, Mercedes Sprinter, a tour bus, and her Bronco truck. The Book of Clarence Star will also retain ownership of four of their marital properties, though exact details weren't disclosed. In case you've been living under a rock, then you might have missed the news that Tiana Taylor and soon-to-be ex-hubby and NBA star Iman Shumpert have been drilling out the details of their divorce in court the last week. 
According to multiple reports, those aforementioned details are unfortunately shaping up to be messier than we might have suspected. Though early insights into their divorce definitely showed a high probability of some unfortunate stuff going down. For starters, Iman reportedly wants items he gifted Tiana back and a different custody agreement and royalties. According to the Jasmine brand, Iman reportedly told an Atlanta judge that he wants some of the items he gifted Tiana back since they're no longer married. That's sad. <laughs> Remember, she wanted all of this to be private though. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no. I mean, once it hits the court system. He specifically referenced jewelry and a condo. He also allegedly asked for half of the royalties from various projects she did before they became romantically involved. It doesn't end there, as Iman also doesn't think he should be paying that much child support, but his lifestyle paints a different picture. As it stands, Iman allegedly only pays $8,000 in child support, but is potentially seeking lower payments according to TMZ, as he alleged that there's a pay gap between him and his soon-to-be ex-wife. However, when looking at the NBA star's monthly spending, it calls into question whether or not that request for lower child support will be granted. According to court documents, Iman spends $112,500 total per month. This includes over $14,000 per month on eating out, over $14,000 per month on his podcast, and over $6,000 per month on his video music production. According to reporter Dennis Bryan, Tiana's CPA alleged that Iman also spends $10,500 for lunch per month and $19,000 a month in travel going from South Atlanta to Alpharetta for work. All of this back and forth led to both parties revealing some nasty details about themselves individually and their marriage as a whole. In court proceedings on Thursday, Tiana alleged that she was initially planning on divorcing Iman on two occasions before she finally pulled the plug, citing him allegedly having cheated before the marriage during her pregnancy, though she didn't specify which pregnancy, and after. She also alleged that Iman was sending pictures of himself and his two-month-old child to chicks she believed he was dealing with, prompting her desire to part ways in 2018. That's when she began dating during their separation, but she allegedly maintains that they never really had a stable relationship, unlike what some prior media speculations had reported over the years. Tiana Taylor was legally separated when she dated and not while she was still with him. She never cheated on him while they were together, Brian said from the courtroom. Meanwhile, when it comes to Iman, he alleged one incident where Tiana allegedly physically assaulted him and he defended himself. Iman on the stand per Byron, I was downstairs with my headphones on playing on my PlayStation and she started hitting me. I used to work with special ed kids and was taught to hold them from behind with a bear hug to calm them down. I yelled for my siblings, names redacted, and went upstairs where my mother was at. As previously reported by The Root back in deck, 2023, Iman was granted temporary set custody time with the girls. Per the agreement, the court decided that he would have their children, Junie and Rue, four to six days out of the month and would be required to pick them up and drop them back off at Taylor's residence. The 8001 actress currently has primary custody and will keep it until a new agreement has been decided. However, now, Iman is seeking a week-on, week-off arrangement, though that presents a challenge as his work often has him traveling out of Georgia, where the children live primarily, according to the Jasmine brand. Several witnesses testified that Tiana Taylor has constantly offered her ex additional time with their daughters, but he's refused due to his work schedule. He allegedly said a three-day heads up is not enough notice to offer him extra parenting time the outlet reports. Talk about a hot steaming pile of mess. Why the details about this pair have come as such a shock to the world is that they made it seem like their split was an agreement reached by both of them, particularly Taylor. In September last year, the singer slash actor slash choreographer confirmed that she and her partner of 10 years, Shumpert, the former NBA star, quietly split up earlier in the year. 
we are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. She captioned an Instagram post. That she filed for the divorce in January and she wanted initials to keep it private, you know, for the respect of her family. And Mon requested that the initials be replaced with their full names. And once that happened, news of the divorce went public. In court documents obtained by TMZ in November, it was revealed that Taylor filed for divorce in January. The Gonna Love Me singer alleged that Shumpert had been treating her cruelly and displaying extreme narcissistic behavior throughout the majority of their marriage. Speculation about Shumpert's infidelity began sometime in 2022 when Taylor addressed a TikTok video that suggested she'd overdosed after learning her husband had cheated on her. We got bigger fucking fish to fry here, y'all, she wrote. Now carry on, nothing to see here. The chatter intensified again earlier this year when a celebrity news Instagram account circulated a theory that Shumpert had cheated on Taylor with an artist signed to his music label. Though that artist denied anything had happened, the speculation took on enough of a life that Taylor addressed it on Instagram. That, according to TMZ, was Taylor being graceful. In recent times, however, particularly in the court documents, Taylor highlights Shumpert's multiple infidelity scandals. She claimed that after she filed for divorce, he insisted on getting back together, and when she gave it a shot, he cheated on her again. Taylor states that while she tried to stay with Shumpert, he reacted with further cruel treatment and selfishness. So the part when a female catch butterflies, you know it's real. Because up to that moment, I didn't like him on that level. No, no, no. So when I caught Curly butterflies. Girl didn't like the court filings also reveal that this was not the first time Taylor tried to leave Shumpert. According to her, she tried to make things work, even though the former basketball player was being extremely emotionally and mentally abusive towards her. Taylor began the divorce process in 20. T. Yuppie, 21, but reconciled with Shumpert because he remained in an insecure state as his NBA career continued to wind down. In 2022, she filed for divorce but withdrew the filing one day later. Finally, she went through with the divorce proceedings in January 2023 because she was unable to handle the emotional roller coaster. Taylor says throughout their union, he displayed jealous and insecure behavior often growing annoyed when he would be asked to step aside when photographers were taking her photo. She says she would receive negative, condescending texts from Iman surrounding her life as a public figure and that he would pick fights with her even on her birthday and then later apologize. Despite all the success he experienced in the NBA, landing a $40 million contract, she says he was bitter about her being in the limelight, particularly as his basketball career started slowing down. So much so that she says she began to intentionally dim her light for her husband to try to have a harmonious and peaceful marriage as he became more and more angry about her stardom. The court documents reveal a lot of other damning information, like his DUI arrest, a W possession arrest in his crashing her Rolls Royce and fleeing the scene to avoid a second DUI. But the overall picture that is painting is that this is yet another case where a man was wholly unequipped to accept his partner in her success. And as a result of that being a direct threat to his pride and ego, allegedly became a mentally and emotionally unstable partner. We've been seeing so much of this behavior lately or perhaps we've always seen it and we're just talking about it more. But in recent months, men like Darius Jackson, Diddy, Dr. Dre, Russell Simmons, Louisiana, Reed, New York Mayor Eric Adams, and now Iman Shumpert are all being exposed for their toxic and unacceptable behavior in and out of romantic relationships. What's different about Darius and Iman, for example, is that Iman had no reason to feel upstaged by his wife. Not from a financial or success perspective anyway. 
He had a legendary career as a basketball player and made more money than Tiana by a landslide. But Tiana says that despite using her connections to get him Hollywood acting gigs, he would turn them down. And when she stopped working after giving birth, hoping to appease him, it wasn't long before he changed his tune and complained about her not making money. As bad as this already looks, it's just half of the full story, as the release court documents also revealed that Shumpert not only repeatedly siphoned money, such as insurance claims that were meant for the entire family, specifically to fix damaged parts of their house, but he was also complaining about her not contributing enough money to the family. The whole saga has had fans talking, particularly because of how much of an a-hole many seem to see Iman as. One person wrote, So not only was Iman cheating, but he was wanting Tiana Taylor to go 50 50th on top of expecting her to not work just to complain about her needing to work so they could go 50 50th He? I, however, there were others on his side, especially with the news of their divorce settlement breaking. Another user wrote, relationships don't always work, but don't set out to destroy the father of your children. If she was about anything, she wouldn't want all that from a man when she already got a career. The judges in these cases need to be scrutinized more harshly. In the eyes of a third user, Everything that's happened to him has been a function of his own decisions. They wrote, He committed infidelity numerous times. He tried to take her assets in the divorce as well, tried to make the divorce as volatile as possible, according to different sources. Maybe just a little instant karma. To be fair, the user does have a point because the stories of Iman's infidelity are almost endless. Rumors first began to swirl of the athlete come actors cheating ways when a brunette beauty shared a video where she appeared to be wearing one of the 33-year-old athlete's chains. She continued to add fuel to the fire when she posted another video, and this time fans were convinced they could hear Iman's voice in the background. The Neighborhood Talk did a deep dive, sharing a photo of a tall male who appeared to be Iman in the bathroom with a group of scantily clad women. While the man wasn't touching the ladies in the snap, a guy surrounded by women wearing nothing but thongs isn't a good look for a married man. Fans of the power couple immediately began slamming the NBA star, especially because this isn't the first time he's been accused of a cheating scandal. The woman in question went by AII underscore Mamiai underscore on Instagram, and she was not going to sit idly by as people made accusations about her. In an Instagram post, she came back and said she and Iman Shumpert simply work together. Iman has his own label and she is just one of his artists. For instance, the chain she had on is a chain that was made specifically for him and his various artists. Additionally, the artists blamed the blogs for making the story bigger than it actually is. That was not the only time the NBA star was accused of cheating. In early 2019, Taylor had to deal with the same issues. The singer-songwriter decided to address rumors of infidelity in her marriage head-on back then by clearing up the claims that the NBA star conceived a child with another woman. Around the same time, the singer abruptly deleted her Instagram and Twitter platforms. At the time, rumors spread about Albie Rides, a then 28-year-old adult film star who allegedly shook hands with the couple in the bedroom and birthed Iman's child in November 2018. Jokes appeared left and right on social media as Taylor came forward to simmer down the chaos. I've never seen or touched that girl in my life. She posted in a since deleted tweet. She also claimed she shut down her socials as a rebuttal to her label not releasing the visuals to WTP on time. She also claimed her husband knows better. Iman is not dumb. He knows I'd K him. End of story. The couple had been at the center of cheating rumors in the past with both denying them every time. So this was not a new position for them to be in. Rides also came forward to condemn the baby rumors. I had my baby with the man I was dating and that ain't Iman, she said. Y'all should be ashamed of creating this negative energy and throwing it around like it won't affect anyone, she lamented. 
Later the same year, the athlete was caught with a girl who was not his wife during what was called a double date with his brother and two exotic girls. The then 33-year-old athlete, his rumored side chick, as well as his brother and his brother's girlfriend, reportedly visited Halloween Horror Nights in Los Angeles at the time. Posting pictures of the foursome's outing, a blog noted that this might not be an issue for Iman's wife, not that Tiana cares or anything. The blog wrote along with the photos, adding that the couple may have an open marriage. To any unbiased party, it's more than obvious that Tiana has put up with a pile of disrespect from Iman. Maybe she was even willing to look past his bad habits, but the scheming and embarrassment that came with it seemed to have been major deal breakers to her. I mean, this woman even defended him when the world was showing her who he was, and she kept defending him just to try to keep things working between them. But Iman made his decision, and right now, that decision will cost him over a million dollars and several other expensive things from their marriage. Tell us, do you think the trade was worth losing all of that? That's it, goodbye.